We have strategically organized our efforts around um, four key domains that we hope to impact and influence and take action in. And those are research, learning, systems and institutions, and engagement. With regard to research, we have submitted four grant proposals, and we recently learned that one was funded, an NSF ExcelNet project. It's called GForces. And within that project, we're gonna be bringing together individuals who are representatives of large-scale networks that are focused on sustainability education with the aim to develop a larger-scale project that will support us to impact policy at the local, regional, national, and global level related to sustainability education. In addition, we've had some um, research collaboration with the Phoenix Children's Museum uh, where we integrated art and movement and aesthetics into learning about weather. We have engaged in an intellectual mapping exercise where we learned about one another's work and interests and identified synergies for moving forward. And that really provided a foundation for all of our collaborative work. The second major domain is learning. And within that realm, we have done a couple of significant things. One of those is that we have proposed and are co-designing a master's degree program in education for planetary futures. And from the very beginning of the conceptualization of this master's degree program, we have been committed to co-producing it. So we engaged in a series of focus groups with prospective students and current graduate students in um, different programs, as well as recent graduates from sustainability-oriented programs. Because what we want is we want to have graduates from our program to leave with the kind of experiences that that will equip them to be um, advocates for sustainability education. Then we are also involved with um, ULRI, Underwriters Research Laboratories Institute, and with a teaching fellowship program that involves teachers from the Arizona region as well as youth. And these teams of teachers and youth are co-creating curriculum around safety science and using action-oriented pedagogies. Um, in their classrooms. After they've tested the materials in their own classrooms, the teachers are gonna design and implement professional development with teachers in their schools so that they can also use the materials. With regard to the institutions and systems domain, we are drafting a manifesto for decarbonizing research. So we are committed to thinking about how we ourselves can use non-exploitative research methods and advocate for those across the university. We hosted a speaker series with the aim to promote discussion about how we can inspire systems change at the institution and policy levels. Within the learning domain, we've really relied heavily on our partnerships with undergraduate students and the larger community. So for example, undergraduate students um, led the climate march that we supported. In addition, we have garden volunteering that we coordinate with some of the local school and community gardens. So one of the things that I'm really excited about is we aim to increase our outward facing presence. And we hope to do that in a variety of ways that kind of pervade all of the different domains that I just talked about. And we hope to start blogging. We need to increase our social media presence. We need to increase our presence in policy oriented conversations. So that's, that's a piece of it that I'm really excited about. Second, we want to continue to deepen our commitment to exploring research practices and education pedagogies and practices that are carbon neutral, non-exploitive, and non-extractive. And finally, we want to continue to rethink and rework our structure of the LFC so that we can have varying levels of engagement for individuals who are interested in joining us. I'm Andrea Weinberg. I am an associate professor and part of the Education for Sustainability and Global Futures Learning Futures Collaborative. Mm -hmm.